of the things which we are in power and not in our power, of all the faculties except that which I will soon mention, you will find in none is capable of contemplating itself and consequently not capable of either approving or disapproving. How far does grammatical art possess contemplating power? And as far as forming a judgment about what is written and spoken, and how far music, as far as judging about a melody, does either of them contemplate itself? By no means. But when you must decide to write something to your friend, grammar will tell you what words you should write. But whether you should write or not, grammar will not tell you. And so it is with music as to musical sounds. But whether you should sing at the present time or play the lute or do neither, music will not tell you. What faculty then will tell you? That which contemplates both itself and all other things. And what is this faculty? The rational faculty, for this is the only faculty that we have received which examines itself what it is and what power it has and what is the value of this gift and examines other faculties. For what else is there which tells you that golden things are beautiful? For they do not say themselves. Evidently, it is the faculty which is capable of judging appearances. What else judges music, grammar, and other faculties, proves their uses, and points out the occasions for using them? Nothing else. What then should a man have in readiness in such circumstances? What else than this? What is mine and what is not mine? And what is permitted to me and what is not permitted to me? I must die. Must I die lamenting? I must be put in chains. Must I then also lament? I must go into exile. Does any man then hinder me from going with smiles, cheerfulness, and contentment? Tell me the secret which you possess. I will not, for this is my power, but I will put you in chains. Man, what are you talking about? Me in chains? You may fetter my leg, but my will... Not even Zeus himself can overpower. I will throw you in prison. My poor body, you mean. I will cut your head off. When then have I told you that my head alone cannot be cut off? These are the things which philosophers should meditate on, which they should write about daily, which they should exercise themselves. What then did Agrippinus say? He said, I am not a hindrance to myself. When it was reported to him that his trial was going on to the Senate, he said, I hope it may turn out well, but it is the fifth hour of the day. This was the time when he was used to exercise himself and take a cold bath. Let us go take our exercise. After he had taken his exercise, one comes out and tells him, You have been condemned. To banishment, he replies, or to death. To banishment. What about my property? It is not taken from you. Let us go to Arisia then, he said, and dine. Overall, what I get from this passage is, is the brain capable of judging itself? Of course it is. That's what habit is. That's what psychology is. Psychology is the attempt to understand behaviors. And the brain wiring now is the new science behind the psychology so the psychology was the guidebook as neurology is the direct electrical electrician technical mechanical functioning of the brain and so it's not far-fetched to say that a person can analyze themselves they can psychodive onto themselves i have done that plenty of times myself and discovered some some deep things I mean, some not so good that bring me shame and guilt and some really great that make me feel like I'm a valuable human and that I matter, that I have value and that can contribute to society. So it's with these differences in analyzing your mind and analyzing what you're capable of doing, but more than just your output. You gotta understand there's more to the world than just the output that you can do, more than the economic gain you can give some company or some individual. What he's arguing is, if you go about life and 
you have to do these things anyway, whether it's dying or if you become a slave or in modern terms, become an employee, then do you have to fret that? Isn't it also within your power to determine how you feel? That's the question behind positive psychology. It's like you can create a good output and a good viewpoint and be optimistic, even if things aren't optimistic. But there's studies that show that people that go through great traumatizing events can help an individual, but it really depends on the individual, their community, whether they're isolated. So if you're an individual that feels depressed or feels bipolar or all these other elements, you cannot heal these things in being in isolation. You can't be by yourself. You can sit there and think about the things on your own, but you need the community to provide feedback. You need a community to offer help to you. Otherwise, it's not going to be beneficial. It's going to actually be damning and it's going to hurt. That wants to read this book, I really re would recommend it because it asks some very significant and astonishing things. Also, there are probably some things that I missed. If you have any observations or viewpoints, please share them in the comments below. I want to do these readings not as a lecture and as my take on it, but more as a seminar where I'm introducing the material to you, but you can also read the material yourself. And whatever you hear, then you drop a line. So then we have a conversation from there, preferably um, one or two threads. But I know that with YouTube comments, it'll be sporadic. So however it works out, having the seminar is a really important part of having a discourse, just like the Greek times, just like Epictetus had in his time. He didn't just come up with these ideas himself. He seminared with other great people that were forgotten in history. Some people that even gave him the idea to examine the brain and the mind, but he's calling it a faculty. Because at the time, I don't think they were aware of the organs necessarily. And so that's what I want to do with this, with these readings, a seminar about these projects in the same fashion that I learned from my college. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and contribute to the conversation. I'll see you in the next one.